Welcome back guys, my name is Gerd. We have been getting a lot of requests as you can see right here. There's a ton of requests right here on the 3 to 1 dance pattern, whatever you want to call it. It's the battle between Alexinho and 2 Edge and 2 Edge second round at about 4 minutes and 39 seconds. If you haven't seen the video yet, I highly suggest you go down in the description and click that link to that video and go to about 4 minutes and 39 seconds because that's from where I'm making this tutorial. Let's go into the sounds you will need in order to make the The first sound you will need is the 2H snare and I didn't know 2H made the 2H snare in this video but a friend of mine, Riff Beatbox he's called taught me that yeah he's doing the <laughs> the 2H K snare. So I want to give a huge thanks to him because he's the one teaching me how to do it. So go to Riff Beatbox and go to his channel and subscribe. Uh, that's really what I think you should do. Also follow him on his Instagram account. I linked that down in the description as well. It probably wouldn't be possible to make this video without him. So this is the 2H snare. <laughs> Last video I made a tutorial on the 2H snare, you can go and check that out down in the description below so you can learn the you really will need it. You will also need the 2H snare variations, more about that in the 2H snare tutorial. You will need a throat bass for this, it's only oh 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 oh. That's the only sound in throat bass you will need to do. I have a tutorial for the throat bass, you can go check that out in the description if you want to. This means breathing in. You will need the inward hi-hat, the It's not very difficult, but I will give a quick tutorial of it. It's basically having your tongue in the hi-hat position, like you normally would do a hi-hat. And you just reverse the airflow. So you start from the beginning of a hi-hat, and then you breathe in. But you can't breathe in because you covered your whole mouth with your tongue. You're creating pressure when you try to breathe in, even though you can't. And then you release that pressure by uh, lowering your tongue from the roof of your mouth. So that's inward hi-hat. And uh, you will need that and you will also need the regular hi-hat. The inward hi-hat I will type like this and the regular hi-hat I will type like this. That's very important. You will also need the PF snare. 2H makes his PF snares very crisp, very punchy, very powerful in this routine. So maybe you can do that as well and try to practice power with, with a PF snare. What you have to do is lick your lips, have your lips very tight and try to push them onto your teeth. Use your teeth to make it uh, more powerful. You will need to have to say clap, clap and ta, ta. Whispering clap, clap, ta, ta. And I'm adding the two age lips onto that. If you can't do that, you can just say clap, 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 and ta, ta instead if you want to. You will need the case now. And I have a tutorial for that in the description if you want to check that out. You will need the and that's basically a high pitched chest bass when you're whispering. Not very important, not very important to learn the drop. It's just, yeah, if you can do it, that's good. Also, it could be nice if you knew the trap hi-hat, but not very important either. Now we went through all of the sounds, good job. Now we will go through all of the patterns. So first off, he's saying, let's inspire other people. Let's inspire other people. Let's inspire, let's inspire other people. And then he makes the and this is basically making the 2H nar with K and then making the throat bass. Oh, 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 oh. So the next part is kind of tricky, the most trickiest one when it comes to developing the speed. So what it is, is the So 
So you probably won't be able to make it that fast in the beginning. It really wasn't for me. So uh, let's break this uh, whole thing down. So actually what it is, it's a 2H snare with a kick. And then it's breathing in. And then inward hat. And then outward hat. So I suggest you start out with making... If you can make the... Both of those, you make the hi-hat on that. So it's only... Trying to make it in that rhythm because it's a bit easier in my opinion then. Breathing in, inward hi-hat, outward hi-hat. So try to get that. Practice that a bit. And also try to practice... Because that is kind of tricky as well. It was tricky for me in the beginning at least. Get that fast, good, nice transition. And now put it together. So... If you get that, you got a very big part of it. And then just add a 2H snare kick to that. So... I know this could be very frustrating, I know it really can be. So start very very slow and then gradually up the speed. So if you got the... You make the... Again. So... That is the... Kind of trickiest part, I think, uh, in this whole uh, thing. So uh, really practice that. I think it's worth it. And don't get uh, discouraged. Uh, it is uh, difficult. So you sh it should be difficult uh, because it's too age. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. If you get this net thing, you that's really good. So the first thing is a, it's kind of like a weak 2 uh, hi-hat. So I'm not going, <laughs> I'm just doing like a little bit of lip step. So <laughs> something kind of like that. You don't have to go so strictly about that, but yeah, that's how I do it. So, <laughs> so that's just the same thing as we did before. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> we just make a <laughs> in the beginning of that. So. Then it's just and then it's so And then we move on to the next part. We two one three two one. So you start with crap crap, and then it's and you'd make that two times. So so look, just learn that. And then it's so three of the. And then it's again, and then it's and then it's so it's we two one three two one and the in the three two one uh, those are case snares. I don't know if it's actually doing the case night right there. Uh, it might be another snare, but yeah, I think the case snare works just fine. And now the moment we're all waiting for the drop after the three, two, one, three, two, one. Well, it's actually the same thing before the clap thing, uh, but instead of the in the beginning, we're making the with a kick. So. 
Remember to make these PF snares <laughs> kind of crisp. Try to pronounce the B in there as well. <laughs> So we make this pattern very powerful. So another pattern you should learn is the do that three times so and then this is the last thing he does in this little sequence it's not exactly as he does it it's actually kind of different but it's kind of reminds of the same thing uh, this is just optional you don't have to do this but yeah uh, you can practice this pattern as well because I will have that in the routine the trap hat there outward K that and then it's yeah that's about the whole routine actually and uh, it's a whole other story to get this fast I just have to say that like getting it down is one thing it's very good if you get it down that's difficult as well getting it fast like to which uh, it's hard but it is attainable. Uh, I did it and you can do it as well. I am pretty sure of that if you practice enough. So to get it fast, just focus on these three patterns a real deal. So the... And the... And also the... And this last one I just did, that was the most difficult for me when trying to get this fast. And when you got all of these three patterns very fast, very clean, you can blend it into the routine. That's pretty much it. I will make the whole thing now myself in the speed of 2H. Either you can slow me down and do it as I go, or you can go back to the pattern we just studied and slow me down there if you want to. As I do the routine, I will have the beatbox script on top of me as usual, and I will have the beatbox script in the description, and I will have the beatbox script at the end of this video as usual. So to slow me down, you can press the gear here somewhere and then slow me down to half a speed or a, a quarter of the speed. If you're doing this for the first time, I think you sh really should slow down it quite a bit, actually. Without further ado, enough talking, let's go! Let's inspire other people. Now. That's pretty much it guys. I hope this tutorial helped you and I hope it will help you if you continue to practice this pattern over and over again. I want to thank Riff Beatbox once again for helping me out with this pattern and um, yeah. You should really go check him out and subscribe to him and go to his Instagram and follow him there. Without further ado, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video and subscribe. My name is Kurt and I am out.